Did you know that Canadians consume more donuts per capita than any other country in the world? The old-fashioned glaze, that's my favorite. That's thanks in large part to one chain, Tim Hortons. With more than 3,000 across Canada, Tim Hortons is as much a cultural icon as it is a donut shop. What do you think of when you think America? We say apple pie. Right. I think in Canada they do say Tim Hortons. <laughs> and now they've set their sights on the U.S. A food fight later this Sunday morning. Americans are about to be dragged into an international food fight, and it's our friendly neighbors in Canada who are throwing down the gauntlet. Jeff Glor reports our cover story. What comes to mind when you think about Canada? Hockey? The Mounties? Moose? Maybe you should be thinking of a donut, but not just any donut. <laughs> Tim Hortons. <laughs> Tim Hortons is everywhere. Tim Hortons. <laughs> when I say donuts, what do you think of? Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. Absolutely. We're Canadian. It's sort of like the place that the Seinfeld gang used to uh, meet at. Canadian actor-comedian Colin Mockery. I mean, it's the best of all Canadian worlds. It's named after a hockey player. You get donuts, you get coffee, and the help is very polite. Tim Horton. The aforementioned hockey player was an all-star Toronto Maple Leaf who opened a modest donut shop in Ontario in 1964 that turned into a gold mine. If the business uh, that I am involved in continues as it is, I may have to consider retirement before I would like to. That's the Tim Horton Donut, donut Emporium? Yes, uh, Tim Horton Donut. Today, Tim Horton's The Company is 3,000-plus shops that have sprung up over the Canadian landscape in the 45 years since. Do you know what Tim Horton's is? Yes. Is that a dumb question? That's not, well, it is a dumb question if you're Canadian, yeah. Can I play? The company sponsors youth hockey leagues. It set up shop in Kandahar to give Canadian troops a taste of home in Afghanistan. Happy Canada Day. Don Schroeder is Tim Horton's CEO. People meet there. It's a modern-day pub. But no, we, we, have, we have people wedding parties that want to visit Tim Horton's the day of the wedding because that's where they met. We even had a funeral go through the drive through once. But that was the last request. <laughs> but it, it's amazing, the stories. But don't let all this folksiness fool you. This is business, big business. 2008 revenues for the company exceeded $2 billion. That's a lot of Boston creams. And it makes Tim Hortons the fast food king in Canada. There are more Tim Hortons than McDonald's. Our total sales are greater than McDonald's. And McDonald's does a great job, but and I know they, they look at Tim Hortons in Canada as a unique competitor.